Since Allah wants us to sin, yeah. and since if we don't sin, Allah is going to wipe us out, yeah. Righteous who wipe actually out. turns out to be the true hero of Islam? It's not Muhammad, it's not Allah, yeah. it's not Jesus. Who is our true hero and savior according to Islam? It has to be Satan and the devil because according to the Quran, Allah uses Satan to cause people to sin against Allah. So according to the logic, notice, Allah wants sinners to exist. If there weren't sinners, he'd wipe them, uh, he would wipe all the human race if they didn't sin and replace them with humans who would sin. Related to that point, which leads to the second point, is that Allah then creates an entity called the devil. Now, I'm not saying that he created him evil. Obviously, Muslims would deny that. My point is, Allah knew by creating Satan, Satan would rebel. And Satan would then cause people to sin, bringing about the sinners that Allah wants to exist. So in reality, Allah should be thanking Satan, right, and praising Satan for helping Allah to bring about the conditions in which sinners would actually exist. And because if there were no sinners, what would happen? What would he do to mankind? Wipe them out. So again, Muslims should be thanking Satan, saying, thank you, Iblis, for being the savior of mankind. Now, where does the Quran say, that it is the, the job of Satan to cause people to sin. I'll look at just two references real quickly for the sake of time. This is chapter 4 of the Quran, Surah Al-Nisa, chapter 4, verses 117 and 122, the Abdullah Yusuf Ali translation. And this is traditionally attributed to Satan, that these are the words of Satan that he said against Allah when he refused to worship Adam. The pagans leaving him called but upon female deities. They called but upon Satan, the persistent rebel. God did curse him, but he said, and he said it's supposedly Satan here, I will take of thy servants a portion marked off. I will mislead them. Who will mislead them? Satan. I will create in them false desires. Who's going to create these desires in them? Satan. I will order them to slit the ears of cattle and to deface the fair nature created by God. Whoever forsaken God takes Satan for a friend hath of a surety suffered a loss that is manifest. Satan makes them promises and creates in them false desires, but Satan's promises are nothing but deception. They, his dupes, will have their dwelling in hell, and from it they will find no way of escape. So it is Satan who misleads, who tempts, who creates wicked, sinful, false desires in people in order to sin against Allah. So according to Satan, he is the true hero and savior of humanity. The final reference, let me just look at, read this one, because I know what time is fleeting. Chapter 2, verses 35 to 36. Allah warns Adam and Eve, look, you're in the garden, right? But be careful, do not sin, do not slip. And in other chapters, they're told, be careful of Satan, who's an avowed enemy to your souls. Let's read what chapter 2, verses 34 to 36 have to say. We said, O Adam, dwell thou and thy wife in the garden and eat of the bountiful things therein, as, where, and when ye will. But approach not this tree, or ye run into harm and transgression. Don't touch this tree. And by the way, the Quran doesn't know what tree this is. In one passage of the Quran, it implies it's a tree of life, the tree of mortality, thereby contradicting the very Torah that Muhammad supposedly confirms. Then did Satan, here comes Satan, Adam's hero and savior, then did Satan make them slip from the garden and get them out of the state of felicity in which they had been. We said, get ye down, all ye people, with enmity between yourselves, and on earth will be your dwelling place and your means of livelihood for a, t for a time. Who made them slip? Who made them sin? Satan did. This is why Muslims need to start singing the song in honor of Satan. Did you ever know that you're my hero? And... As absurd as that sounds to Muslims, that's how it sounds to us too. But show us where we're wrong. If we're getting this wrong, show us where we're wrong. Muhammad swears that Allah wants you to sin and that if you don't sin, he would have wiped you out. So the only reason you continue to exist, the only reason human beings continue to exist is that we sin. Otherwise, we would have been wiped out and replaced by other people. So the only reason we're here is that we sinned. But the reason we sinned is that Satan tempted us to sin. So Satan didn't do something bad for us. Satan's the only reason we're alive right now. Yep. So according to Islam, our hidden hero is the devil himself. Is that what you believe, Muslims? That's what you have to believe if you believe Muhammad's a prophet.